Hey guys, Ozimitsu here and welcome back to my channel. So as Pokemon fans you might be aware that this year is Pokemon's 25th anniversary and the and the Crystal Badge made a tag in celebration of this where she spoke about her Pokemon resolutions. So rather than it being 25 individual resolutions it's just it's a resolution video in celebration of Pokemon's 25th anniversary. So the title might be a little bit misleading. I'm not going to necessarily go through 25 resolutions. In fact, I'm looking at my selections and I've got five just because I didn't want to make the video too long. But I would highly recommend you watch the Crystal Badges version. It's the original. It was really enjoyable to watch. And whilst you're there, you should subscribe to her because she makes fantastic content. It ranges from box openings to reviews and her opinions on certain aspects of the Pokemon franchise. So yeah, check her out, she's amazing. Anyway, yeah, so as the title suggests, we're gonna go through my resolutions. I, I don't know if I'm breaking the rules here, there weren't any explicit rules, so I came up with a few and I just wanna go through them and then at the end of the video I'll tag some people, maybe, I don't know, we'll, we'll decide at the time and see, see, see how I feel. So, let's get started. Also, I always forget to wear my glasses. I can't see my screen, so I'm gonna put these on. Side note, I hate wearing my glasses because I just look awful in them, but when I'm recording a face cam video and I have a script in front of me, I can't see it without. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to look ugly for this video. Sorry, guys. Okay, so my first resolution is I want to rewatch the entire Pokemon anime from the very beginning. So, I mean, from the original series all the way up until Journeys. It's no surprise that I love black and white anime. Unfortunately, it was actually the last season of the anime that I watched. I didn't watch X and Y. I did watch a few random episodes, for example, Ferrotype Trickery, obviously. And then I watched um, some of the some of the random episodes, but I haven't actually watched X and Y in its entirety. However, I think it just makes sense because it's been so long since I watched the original series and the Johto anime, for example. But I just start from the very beginning all the way up until journeys and I don't think it would be an interesting journey. I also want to start making more Anapoke content so it just makes sense that I watch from the original series all the way up until journeys perhaps give my opinion on each season or maybe do like my favorite episodes of each season I think that would be very very interesting. I also want to remake my this is a side note it's not a separate resolution but I want to remake some videos that got taken down by Showpro, so for example my why I love the black and white anime video. I'm kind of glad it was taken down because even though I loved that video, I my, my opinions have changed since then, so I want to include more things that I didn't notice on my first watch. So yeah, that would be really cool and I think it would also make sense for me to re-watch the black and white anime, even though I've watched it five times now. I think it would just make sense to watch it fresh and then give my perspective. I doubt much of my opinion will change on it but yeah I want to do that. So yeah my first resolution is that I want to rewatch the Pokemon anime from the beginning. It's a bit of a it's a bit of an ambitious one but I really really want to do it and I think I can do that. It's realistic because if I watch maybe five episodes a day or something like that I can do it. Okay my second resolution I think people are gonna hate me for this because I haven't actually played a Heart Gold and Soul Silver, so I want to play these games at some point this year because everyone raves about them. I think I need to see what the hype's all about. Because as you may or may not know, I actually played Gen 4 really, really late. So I skipped Generation 4 originally because I thought I was too old for Pokemon, and then I was introduced back into the Pokemon world in Generation 5. Um, and then I did actually play Pokemon Platinum in 2018 I believe or 2017 and I absolutely loved it. I adored the game, I loved the story and the anime was amazing. But I think it makes sense to play Heart Gold and Soul Silver to see why so many fans love these games and I think it would just make sense for me to pick one. I haven't decided if it's going to be Heart Gold or Soul Silver. I don't think it matters too much but that's a work in progress. I also need to find a relatively affordable copy just because you have to pay an arm and a leg to purchase a copy. And I don't want to buy a fake one. I want an, I want an authentic copy, which is also going to be kind of difficult to find. But 
yeah that's my second resolution i really want to play these games before 2021 ends all right third resolution i want to play sun and moon again and i know this sounds really hypocritical because in the past i've said that the sun and moon games have no replay value however i've come to realize that although i adore generation 5 I think Generation 7 is now my favourite generation. More so the games because I haven't watched the anime. But yes, the, the Sun and Moon games and the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games are amongst my favourite Pokemon games. They've actually surpassed my love for Black 2 and White 2. Which is very surprising because for the longest time those were my favourite Pokemon games and I still do love them. But I've come to appreciate the Alola region and it's my favorite generation i want to play sun and moon and ultra sun and ultra moon again so that i can confirm that i absolutely adore them and also just to solidify my my opinion and yeah i want to play these games again because i really really miss the alola region and by extension yeah i need to watch the sun and moon anime so yeah i want to play the sun and moon games again okay my next resolution it's gonna expose me as a very bad Pokemon fan. I don't really play uh, many spin-off games. I only play the main series games. So this year I want to try playing a spin-off game of Pokemon. So maybe something like Mystery Dungeon or Pokemon Snap when it's out. I really want to give it a try because although I love the main series games, I think Pokemon has a lot more to offer and I need to venture out a little bit. And I think it would be really interesting to see whether or not I would enjoy these spin-off games. So yeah, that's another resolution that I have. And finally, this is going to be multiple resolutions in one, but it comes under the umbrella of shiny hunting. So as you guys know, I'm an avid full odds shiny hunter, but I have a bad habit of abandoning hunts and starting new ones. So this year, I really want to complete my shiny hunt backlog. So I'm going to pull up my screen and talk you through what my plans are. At the moment I'm currently hunting, soft resetting for a shiny Porygon in Pokemon Moon. I'm currently on 5,540 soft resets. So yeah, I really need to get that one, get it gone. And I'm also hunting for Blacephalon and Stack Attacker. I'm currently on 500 soft resets for Stack Attacker, which isn't a great deal. And I'm also on 251 for Blacephalon. So yeah, I want to try and get these shinies before the end of the year. That would be really, really nice. Additionally, I have some black and white hunts. So in the Generation 5 games, thankfully I finished my Kiram hunt. But I'm currently hunting for Volcarona. I'm soft resetting for it in the uh, Giant Chasm. But then after that, I want to really get a shiny Ordino in the, sh um, in the wild patches of grass. But then I also want, you know, the legendaries, all of that. So Verizon, Terrakion, Corbalion. Um, yeah, that I think it would be really nice to get them. And then <laughs> in White 2, I want a soft reset for Snivy. So yeah, that's something I want to do. However, I also have a Gen 4 backlog. So as you know, I hunted Giratina for about two years on and off. Took about 20,000 soft resets to get Giratina. So the next on the agenda is Heatran and the Lake Trio. I also have a lot of Sun and Moon hunts that I could do in Sword and Shield, but I don't want to do that. So for example, all of the Ultra Beasts. So for example, uh, I haven't gotten Feramosa, Buzzwall, Zergatree, all of that. I want to try getting them. Again, like I said, I know I can do it in Sword and Shield, but I want to keep it consistent and do it in Gen 7 because they were introduced in Gen 7. And I just, I just don't want to transfer them over to my Switch. So yeah, those are my resolutions for Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed me just babbling. This was kind of unscripted, so I kind of go off on one <laughs> and waffle. So now is the time for me to tag three people to do this tag. And honestly, I can't think of three people who I really, really want to see do the tag. So you know what? I'm going to cheat a little bit. If you're watching this video and you think, hey, I want to do it, please just, just do it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a big thumbs up because that really does help me out. And subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video from me. And with all of that being said, bye.